your next assignment, you're going to practice changing a visual into a fraction, decimal, and a percent. Let's start with the fraction. Remember, a fraction is a part over a whole. In this case, the part refers to how many are shaded. So go over to your visual, count how many pieces are shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the top of our fraction is going to be seven divided by the whole. How many pieces are in the whole shape? Again, you can count them. That gives us eight. So seven eighths is our fraction. Seven pieces are shaded in. Eight pieces make the whole. Now let's change that fraction into a decimal. As we've done in previous weeks, to change a fraction to a decimal, we divide the top number by the bottom number. You should definitely use your calculator for this. So we're going to take seven divided by eight on your calculator, seven divided by eight equals 0.875. Remember, we've often talked about rounding our answers. So if this was a decimal that went on um, indefinitely, or beyond three places, we would want to round it. Since it ends at three, I'm just going to write my answer down as 0.875. That's the decimal displayed. Finally, we want to convert this to a percent. Percent means out of 100. So sometimes this might be easy to do if your fraction was written as out of 100. Um, in this case, we don't have 100 as our denominator. We can look at the decimal and think about place value. If you remember place value, the second decimal or the second space past the decimal is the hundredths place. So that means that those two numbers are out of 100. So I highlighted the two in yellow that are out of 100. So I can write that as my percent, but I still have extra numbers left. So I'm going to put the decimal after the hundredths place. The shortcut that people often remember is to change it from a decimal to a percentage, you move the decimal place two places to the right. So as we're moving two places to the right, go over one, go over two, that's where my decimal now goes. So my answer is, is 87.5%. So we now have the same value displayed in three different ways. 7 eighths is equal to 0.875, which is equal to 87.5. Use this as an example to complete your worksheet.